grade 10 algebra 2. We are in model 3, lesson 6. Uh, today we want to learn using the quadratic formula and the discriminant. So I want to from all to open your notebook in a new page, please. The write this title using the quadratic formula and the discriminant. In this lesson, we want to learn solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula and determine the number and type of roots of a quadratic equation. And we have a new words discriminant. Using the quadratic formula. Using the quadratic formula. To solve any quadratic equation, you can use the quadratic formula. The solution of a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero where a doesn't equal zero are given by the following formula. X equal negative B, positive or negative, under square root B squared minus four AC over two A. As you remember from the previous lessons, we learned how to solve quadratic equation uh, using the factorizing, using the uh, completing square using the perfect square, using the uh, root properties. Uh, and today, inshallah, we want to learn how to use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula can be solved any type of quadratic equation. So I want from all now to write this title using the quadratic formula. Write this title using the quadratic formula. Then write this quadratic equation. Just the quadratic equation, AX squared plus VX plus C equals zero. This form. They write the formula to solve the quadratic equation. Is that clear? X equal negative B minus positive under square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. What does it mean? The coefficient of the middle term. The meaning of a coefficient of x squared. The number who multiply by x squared. And what is the meaning of c? The constant, the constant term means the term without the variable, the term without uh, the variable. Let us to take uh, example to know how to find how to solve the quadratic 
uh, equation. Finished here. Okay, I want to from all to write uh, just the question solved. Minus 17 equals zero. I use the quadratic uh, formula. Just the question. We want to Done. OK. So we have. X squared. Plus 4X. Minus 17. Equals 0. The first step. Find the value of A and find the value of B and find the value of C. Who can tell me from this quadratic equation what is the value of A? Seventeen C. Where is A? Yeah, that one is A and four five is B and seventeen is. Excellent. So A, the number who multiply by X squared. So the value of A will be 1. The value of A will be 1. And B means the number who multiply by X. So the value of B will be 4. So it will be 4. And C equal what? Negative 17. C equal negative 17. Then use the rule X equal minus B. Negative positive under square B square minus four C under two A. Very important to keep this uh, rule to solve any quadratic uh, equation. Then substitute now, substitute the value. P as you see, four, and we have negative, so you can write minus four, negative, positive, under square root. B squared means four squared, four times four will be 16. Minus four times a, a means one, c equal negative 17, and down two times one. Now express the operation. We have here negative four, negative positive, under square, 16. Now minus times minus will be positive. Four times one, four, four times 17. 
will be uh, 68 and there too, uh, 16 plus uh, 68. So x equal negative 4, negative positive, under square will be 84. And down we have to. So we can simplify the square root of 84. Take 84 and do factorization. Divide by 2 will be 42. Divide by 2 will be 21. Divide by 3 will be 7. Divide by 7 will be 1. So 84 will be 4, 2, 2 means 2 to the power, uh, it's 1 and 2 means 4, times 3 times 7 will be 21. Means square root of 4 times square root of 21. The square root of 4 will be 2 times the square root of 21. So we can write here negative 4, negative positive 2, the square root of 21 over 2. Then we can divide by 2, a negative 4 divided by 2 will be negative 2. Negative positive, 2 divided by 2 will be 1, square root of 21. So this is the solution of the quadratic equation. We have two solutions. We have two solutions. Negative 2 minus square root of 21 or negative 2 plus square root of 21. Okay, this is our lesson for today. Thank you for your listening. See you, inshallah, tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.